you know, philanthropy is, is very special in that it really does give you an opportunity without having to think too much of uh, uh, bureaucracy and uh, referrals and structures to quickly make a decision and respond to a need. What excites me is that you also find there is a growing number of local uh, philanthropists who are very active, who are very connected to uh, the people on the ground. The communities that I go to are the communities in which I grew up in, okay? So I'm not really, so I, I don't have the challenges of language, I don't have the challenges of culture, I don't have the, uh, the challenge, challenges of uh, difficulties in identifying with the people. I identify completely with uh, the people that I go out to, uh, to, to, to work with, to interact with, and to also provide opportunity for. What defines me as a philanthropist, uh, or local African on the ground, to arrive in a community to serve. When I say to serve, I mean you arrive in a community, you go, uh, the, make the effort to see things the way they see things. You are patient to spend time with the people. You listen to how they live, what matters to them, and eat what they eat sleep where they sleep. I know this sounds radical, but that's where I'm telling you that is what my kind of philanthropy, that's what gives meaning to my kind of philanthropy. And that's what I believe defines who Higher Life is and the work that we do. Having those types of organizations like Higher Life very useful in partnering with international uh, organizations or uh, philanthropists from Europe, from the US, because the learnings and the knowledge we have, which is very practical, which is uh, um, uh, also very relevant, strengthens uh, not only the, the impact, but also uh, the learnings from both sides enables us to, you know, to give solutions that are sustainable, that are long lasting. My family plays a huge role in me having the opportunity to, to do what I do. I have, uh, I have thousands of children. One thing that um, I have observed is they, they love the work that we do in, on the philanthropic side, and each ch child, out of their own choice, out of their own volition, is involved in one project or another. And for me as a parent, I find that uh, it warms my soul, yeah. And then I have a very supportive husband, you know, he has his own other philanthropic work that he does apart from the foundation uh, on a very more uh, uh, global platform. But uh, what I really appreciate about him, and I think, I think this is, you know, a message I would love to give to, to some of our uh, couples where the husband is the one who runs the business and the uh, wife plays a more supportive role, that to give, to allow the women to really have opportunity to express themselves in their philanthropic work. What do I mean by that? Let them sign the checks and make the decisions.